Sky Ninja. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Fragment. Show of hands. Who's been surprised by a hidden fragment the day after cataract surgery? Those of you with your hands down, give it time, because hidden fragments occur every few hundred to a thousand cases after cataract surgery. Surgeons, we have some great moves that, hang on, yeah! we'll show you some great moves to discover and remove hidden fragments of various types. Seems like I'm being ganged up on. I hope you enjoy. So where can fragments hide? In the angle. In this case, we did not rinse the angle. We're all done, just hydrating. Whoa! The exiting current tends to hide them by the wound. So, it's important to do a circumferential rinse of the angle after every case. You'll find hidden fragments and viscoelastic. First ninja move. Fragments can cause an enlarging zone of edema emanating from 6 o'clock. Gravity puts the fragment at the inferior angle. Inflammation and mechanical rubbing kills endothelial cells. New ones migrate in, they suffer the same fate, and like lemmings off the cliff, the zone of death can get quite large. The fragment is hiding right there while supine. Remember, it's white blood cells that eat these fragments and carry them away. So they definitely cause inflammation, not just in the cornea, but also the macula, the iris, synechiae, etc. Where else can fragments hide? Bruce Lee was faster than camera frames. Normally, only an idiot would take on Bruce Lee with no martial arts training, but I'm the eye ninja, so... Block the attack. Oh! That was a cheap shot. And secondly, he is Go on the level right now of enjoying his ebony with motorcycle. Damn. Chill out, Leo. I think I'll stick to eye surgery. Moving on. Where else can fragments hide? Better watch fast. The sulcus. If I rewind, are your eyes fast enough to catch it in the act? Say now when it hides. Eyes on the cataract. Watch those edges. Now, watch the iris border, right there. Slow motion. Watch this one a little longer, right there. Is this piece going into the sulcus or aspirating? Hard to tell. Okay, fellow ninjas, tell me when and where. It's hard to see these in real time, but watch the pupil, 360, anything, anywhere. It went into the sulcus five seconds ago, so where is it? Rinsing usually doesn't work. We can get this one because we saw where it went, but we're going to need better moves because some are too fast for the camera. Done with the nucleus, let's get the cortex. What? Out of thin aqueous? This is too fast even for slow motion. Was it in the equatorial capsule, the sulcus? Some sulcus fragments can be stubborn stowaways. Hard to remove. Because there's nothing holding the capsule back, I decided to use IA for this last piece. But this little nugget keeps trying to... There it went, into the sulcus. I'm going to go after it here and try to grab it, but I didn't really get it. hope I didn't push it in farther, but let's put the lens in first. The IOL will protect the capsule, do the trimoxy while I'm at it. And I try to rinse the sulcus, and I go around for 360 degrees, and I can't find this little fragment. I rinse all around for 360 degrees. I do strong rinsing directly where it disappeared and then nothing comes forward. No loose zonules, no capsule opening, kinda weird. Likely dissolved, three weeks later, anterior chamber inflammatory cell. Well, that sounds like a hidden fragment. I retract the iris and tilt this eye 30 degrees until we can see the lens equator in all locations. Now I know to get an endoscope. But here, I figured there was no sign of it. Let's rinse and finish. I happened to pulse the IOL. Are you freaking kidding me? 
This case makes me ask, how much of our rebound inflammation is caused by hidden sulcus or equatorial capsule fragments that take a while to be removed by white blood cells? So this is our second ninja move. Retropulse the lens to release hidden sulcus fragments. Here's what I think is going on. Behind the iris, you have an angle between the iris and the lens, which is usually somewhat of an appositional angle, not much space. So if you get a little nugget wedged in there, it can be stuck. When we retropulse a lens, we are widening that angle so that any incarcerated piece can come forward. Why might a piece like this present the next day? Well, as your pupil comes undilated and it's free to move again, this little piece is getting rubbed back and forth with each iris movement, and I think eventually that can free the piece so that you see it the next day. However, if a piece is stuck in there and never comes out, you might just get persistent inflammation until those white blood cells eat the entire lens and migrate away, which might take a while. Rinsing the sulcus may dislodge a fragment. But if you see or suspect a sulcus fragment, watch this one in slow motion, a better move is to pulse the IOL backwards. Here's a case where I did not suspect a fragment, but I give it a couple pulses. Surprise fragment! But don't forget, you can always use the gonio prism or endoscope to get a better view of the sulcus. When in doubt, check it out. Yeah, we're going to retropulse at the end of this case. Worked like a charm, but wasn't there more in there? Yes. So apparently pulsing doesn't always work. Cameras can hardly see these fragments, so don't be hard on yourself if you can't. But Consider a gentle angle rinse, circumferential, and gentle pulse of the IOL at the end of routine cases to reduce how many of these you have. And for suspect cases, grab a direct gonioscope prism or the endoscope from your ECP to explore the sulcus in more detail. But I'm not the real eye ninja here. The real eye ninja is all of you. Cataract surgery skills are a patchwork quilt. So many ideas from so many people. Most of the ideas come from those who came before us. We're happy to add a few ideas. You're not a real ninja. Hey, little boy, I, I think you suppose that you are. <laughs>